Welcome to GK Essentials, where we explore basics and useful tips for getting up and running with GKE. I'm Kazlyn Fields, a developer advocate here at Google Cloud, where I focus on Google Kubernetes Engine, as well as open source Kubernetes. Kubernetes is designed to enable and manage apps at scale, but with great scale comes great potential for wasted resources. Even small inefficiencies can add up and make clusters more unwieldy than they need to be. In this episode, we'll talk about what it means to optimize a GKE cluster to run your apps as efficiently as possible. First, what does it mean to run a cluster optimally? Ideally, your true goal should be to run your applications as efficiently as possible. You want to make sure that your apps have all the resources they need with as few extra resources provisioned as possible. A problem with any system of sufficient scale is that it's hard to tell if you're using your resources efficiently. In this video, we'll take a quick look at tools and capabilities to help you optimize the efficiency of your GKE clusters by understanding and managing your resources as effectively as possible. Generally, the more time and effort you have to spend on cluster optimization tasks, the less time you have to focus on the applications and other tasks that are core to your business or what you're really trying to accomplish with your Kubernetes cluster. Auto-scaling provides a way for you to set up your clusters to optimize themselves automatically. In GKE, there are four dimensions of auto-scaling you should think about. The cluster autoscaler can increase or decrease the number of virtual machines in your cluster according to demand. The node auto provisioner can automatically pick the right size of virtual machines for your workloads. The horizontal pod autoscaler, or HPA, can increase or decrease the number of pods running your workload according to demand. And the vertical pod autoscaler, or VPA, can help you understand the resources your workload actually needs, so you can set resource requests and limits appropriately. If you haven't, check out our video, Introduction to GKE Autoscaling, for more about the four dimensions of autoscaling in GKE. GKE Autopilot Mode takes this idea of reducing the time and effort you have to spend on cluster optimization to the next level. GKE Autopilot Mode is our most fully managed version of Google Kubernetes Engine, and both the worker nodes and Kubernetes control plane are managed for you by Google. You just tell your GKE Autopilot Mode cluster what workload you want to run, with its resource requests and limits set, of course, and GKE Autopilot Mode sorts out the underlying infrastructure for you. No need to configure cluster autoscaling or node auto-provisioning. No need to worry about bin packing those virtual machines. You pay only for the resources your workloads actually use. If you haven't, check out our video Introduction to GK Cluster Modes to learn more about how GK Autopilot Mode compares with GK Standard Mode. So basically, GK Autopilot Mode is doing the infrastructure parts of autoscaling for you, but you'll still need to worry about the workload scaling parts, the horizontal and vertical pod autoscalers. Luckily, GKE has a tool to make that easier too. A newer addition to GKE's portfolio of autoscalers is the multi-dimensional pod autoscaler. This new tool combines the horizontal and vertical pod autoscalers to intelligently and automatically scale your workloads, both in terms of their number and their resource requests and limits. This can help to prevent any potential for clashes if, for example, HPA and VPA were set to scale on the same metrics. These tools can help you configure your environment to do a lot of the heavy and dynamic lifting of optimizing your GK clusters. But how do you know how optimally your clusters are running? GKE's Cost Optimization Insights feature provides you with clear information about how optimally your cluster's resources are being used right in the Google Cloud Console. Over a selected period of time, GK Cost Optimization Insights can help you understand the current state of your clusters by showing you the actual used, requested, and allocated resources. For workloads running on your clusters, it shows your actual used and requested resources, as well as the set limits. Not only does Cost Optimization Insights give you convenient visibility into the efficiency of your clusters and workloads, it can also make suggestions on how to improve your clusters and workloads efficiency. 
In this video, you learned about just a few of the great tools GKE has to help you run your clusters as optimally and efficiently as possible. GKE autoscalers can help reduce the time and effort needed to keep your clusters in their most optimal state. GKE Autopilot mode takes things a step further by having Google maintain your cluster's worker nodes, eliminating the bin packing problem and allowing you to focus more on running your applications. The multi-dimensional pod autoscaler simplifies the task of autoscaling your Kubernetes workloads directly. And cost optimization insights gives you a way to see how efficient your clusters really are at just a glance. These are just a few of the tools available for you to use to keep your clusters running optimally. Be sure to check out the best practices for cost optimization guide in the GK documentation for more. With the concepts discussed in this video, we're confident you'll be on your way to building a GK cluster that suits your needs. You can get started with GK by visiting the Google Cloud Console and checking out the links below. And stay tuned for our next videos where we dive deeper into GK topics.